Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's session, I am going to give lecture about uh, the uh, first pros in the first unit of uh, DGBC Foundation English 3. Uh, the pros is uh, after the World Trade Center. Okay, after the World Trade Center. So this is the pros about which I am going to talk today. Before moving to the session, subscribe to the channel and you will get the further updates about the upcoming lectures. And this writer, Amitav Ghosh, was an Indian writer, was born in uh, 1956 in Calcutta and uh, this writer uh, was you know well known for his English language historical fiction and uh, he was given a uh, Nanpit award in the year of 2018 uh, this award you know Nanpit J-N-A-N-P-I-T-H Nanpit award was said to be a Indian highest literary award this award is given to the people who write in any one of the Indian languages. He also wrote a uh, few uh, non-fiction works uh, discussing topics uh, like you know colonialism and climate change. He completed his UG and PG in India and he received his PhD from Axford University. Amito Ghosh gained uh, two lifetime achievements about like uh, Badmasti Award which he was given in the year of 2007 and that this one said to be one of India's highest honors right okay uh, was given by the president of India and in the year of 2010 he was a joint winner along with uh, Margaret Atwood of a Dan David Price and uh, in the year of 2011 he was awarded with the Grand Prix of uh, uh, Blue Metropolis Festival in Montreal so this award was said to be uh, you know uh, most important award uh, in his and it, it, this one said to be most important moment in his life because he was the first English language writer to receive the award. He received about uh, 400 doctorates from you know few universities and uh, see some of his notable works like The Shed of Lines, The Glass of Palace, uh, Sea of Poppies. Okay, these are you know some of his uh, uh, notable works. See, apart from Nanpit Award, he also received. Uh, Sagiti Academy Award, Ananda Prashkar Award, and uh, Dan David Prize, and uh, even the Badmasti, which I already mentioned, right? So these are his uh, notable awards which he received. Okay, this work after the World Trade Center, he wrote as an autobiographical work. So this work is you now quite important because uh, when we read this prose, it makes us to look 20 years back what has happened. Okay, in America, the United States of America, what happened in the year 2001, September 11. The entire world became, you know, very cautious. The entire world looking towards the America because the Twin Towers were attacked by a terrorist. Okay, terrorist attack was made in the year 2001. So, about which uh, the prose is uh, written. This writer, Amito Ghosh, started explaining what was happening in the morning uh, before the attack because he was also staying in a place uh, okay, uh, called Brooklyn. He says like you know in the year of 1999 uh, he uh, you know, uh, started staying in the place called Brooklyn. There uh, he got a chance to be friended with uh, a family uh, Frank. Frank and his wife uh, uh, Nicole. N-I-C-O-L-E. Nicole. Okay, they got children like you know Amito Ghosh also got two children, right? Frank was working as a construction manager uh, in the uh, first tower, uh, which is, you know, uh, in which his office was located in the 88th floor. And his wife, Nicole, she was also working uh, as a surveillance engineer. Uh, her office was located in the uh, tower 2 uh, in the 35th floor. Okay, They were doing their job uh, with complete interest. Particularly Frank, he started loving his profession. Frank was about 49 years old, okay. This man always looked for the perfection in his works. That is why he was able to serve the, the office for uh, these many years. And uh, the Twin Towers were uh, said to be uh, Frank's livelihood and passion. He, he always speak about the towers and he always explain the uh, features and best things which uh, he could enjoy in the towers and this man also was uh, said to be very expert in giving uh, advices if people are approaching him right such type of personality frank okay they got two children uh, whose name were uh, sabrina s a b r i n a who was about 10 years old another children d o m i n i c dominic 
who was about 8 years old he says mito ghosh says that these two children are uh, well matched with my children in age gender so actually in the year of 1993 a bomb explosion was happened uh, in the basement of the towers for which he was called he was invited to uh, mend the damage was occurred due to the explosions after the assignment uh, he thought he would stay um, he was thinking you know he will you know complete the damages and he leave the towers but he has to stay there he wanted to stay there he got a chance to continue his work in the tower itself so after few months he started loving the towers he started fall in love with the profession which he has taken which he has chosen so he doesn't want to go away from the towers he always uh, very loud to speak about the towers see one of his most uh, you know frequently saying is that uh, towers were built to take the impact of a light airplane Hey, okay, this is you know most uh, repeatedly Frank used to say. So you now what happened on the morning of Tuesday, September 11, the year 2001? That time, the attack was made by the terrorist Frank and his wife Nicole. They dropped their children off at their school on the morning 2001, September 11, right? So after that, uh, they are uh, uh, coming back to the office. So now Nicole decided to have a, a cup of coffee with her husband. Uh, her husband office was uh, in the 88th floor of the tower 1 so she wanted to go to her husband office there uh, she had completed coffee and she was about to leave the office the time a sudden attack was happened everyone in the floor in the towers got panicked there frank was very courageous and bold enough to protect others he was not bothered about his life whereas he started thinking about the people who are there for which he was making arrangements how to make them to leave the towers how to send them safely from the uh, you know towers that is what the plan which was going on his mind now frank uh, who decided to send his wife and uh, there were a, a group of uh, uh, people who were about you know two dozen okay people were there uh, in the room there uh, he he made the arrangements to send them out of the tower without any issues without any problems right after sending them out frank went back to the towers and searching for the people if anybody is there because he uh, he he wanted to save everybody he he thinks you know it's his duty he has to save the people who are there he doesn't bother about uh, his life he was not bothered about his life his wife nicole she didn't let frank to leave her. she is asking frank to come with her but he said no 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 i can't say you go i have duty to save the people he is coming back to the towers after few times about 9 o'clock he made a call uh, from his office and informed his uh, relatives uh, saying that you know we are fine we don't have any problem but he was in the tower right so now uh, then uh, in the flo- in, in the towers everybody who are helping each other were helping each other okay, on every floor uh, try to you know uh, saving others like everybody is you know trying to uh, helping each other in order to uh, come out without any uh, struggle after few minutes the first tower was completely collapsed in the evening uh, she uh, you know received calls from nicole received calls from many people saying that uh, we had seen your husband in the towers but uh, we don't know what happened when the tower got collapsed and she was waiting uh, any you know good news will come from people or any news channels but no uh, good news is coming about uh, frank the next morning nicole wanted to open the news to her children that the, there is no word about the father okay and she started open Uh, the news to the children there uh, so nicole didn't sleep the whole night and the next morning she started thinking about uh, the uh, heroism and the courage of her husband okay the city has witnessed the uh, courage of uh, frank okay she was started thinking about all these things what has happened before the attack the next day uh, amito ghosh and his wife uh, they were uh, sitting along with nicole the next day uh, In the noon, uh, Amit Ogos and his wife, uh, they took their children to a uh, Fort Green Park. There, uh, Amit Ogos and his wife were sitting uh, along with Nicole and they were talking about uh, the incident, the blast. They were talking like uh, Frank could have uh, escaped her from this, but still he couldn't come back because he wanted to help others. That's why he stayed back. So when they were talking like this, Nicole, who passed... and said like uh, i think you know it was uh, only because you know frank had seen me leave okay 
Frank has noticed that uh, Nicola was leaving uh, safely. That is why he started to he started staying back uh, the towers because you know one of his family members needs to be alive to take care of the family. So after seeing that his wife is leaving the tower safely, he stayed back at the tower to help the others. And she also says like you know well, Frank has loved the towers too much, and he had the complete faith in the towers. So whatever happened, uh, which Nicola knows, okay. But what he did was his own choice. It was his own choice to stay back at the towers to help the others. He didn't bother about his life, right? So with this, the prose gets over. So thanks for listening my lecture. Subscribe the channel.